What is going on guys, it is Ahmed, and I am back today with yet another video for you all. And today we're gonna to talk about ticker symbol TSLA or Tesla. Some pretty big news came out last night coming in throughout the day today, which again was that there was a Tesla um, autopilot crash that occurred, or so people were saying that it was an autopilot crash that actually caused two deaths. And so if you saw the video or if you haven't already, I'm just going to quickly play a couple segments of it. But you can see at the beginning here, two dead in self-driving Tesla crash after hitting a tree and it bursted into flames. And you can see the aftermath of the vehicle right here on this video. Man, damaged. It's so sad to see. And the officer who was on site came out with a statement. backseat of the vehicle. So as you guys can see, there was the statement that came out with the officer. Nobody was in the driver's seat. Someone was in the passenger and the backseat. Two victims on this crash. Now, Elon Musk, like he always does, responded. So there was a tweet that was sent out by another person named Ahmed, <laughs> it just so happens to be. He said that this doesn't make sense. There are safety measures in place with autopilot seat, and it is weighed to make sure that there's a driver present regardless of the auto uh, autopilot feature on. Hands must be on the steering wheel every 10 seconds or it disengages. Autopilot doesn't go over speed limits, um, over limit. Um, it's impossible for it to go over the speed limit. Do your own research. Elon responded to this man's tweet and said, your research as a private individual is better than professionals at Wall Street Journal. Data logs recovered so far show autopilot was not enabled and this car did not purchase FSD. So again, moreover, standard autopilot would require lane, uh, lane lines to turn on which, uh, excuse me, to turn on which the street did not have. So guys, really big news. Again, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. You know that on my channel, I like to talk about all things stocks and when opportunities present themselves to potentially buy in, then that is time for us to potentially pounce. So what happened to Tesla stock today after the news was announced? As you can see, pretty much from Friday market closed to today, when market opened, it plummeted down 5.3% in just the first hour of market open, came down to even less than $700. I think it was at 694. And it came and it shot back up after that, almost had a full recovery. Because why? Right? The question is why? People have a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And paper hands always take the news as is. They don't do their own due diligence. They don't do their own research. And they say, oh, if the autopilot um, vehicle ended up crashing, that means there's issues with this new technology, which is going to, you know, which is going to be detrimental to Tesla's, um, you know, gains over time and mass adoption. So let's look at a plane, for example right a plane has autopilot features basically the pilot has to launch or excuse me take off and land the plane that is basically his two duties otherwise the plane pretty much operates on its own does the airplane pilot leave the airplane pilot's seat absolutely not Dur during the whole duration of the flight if he's not in the seat you know his co-pilot might be you know taking over for the time being but there's someone always present so the fact that you know, people ended up paper handing their position out of Tesla because they saw this information drop about Tesla vehicle crash when it was when autopilot was on or an autopilot feature. Guys, that is just silly to me. So for all of us that are looking to potentially get into Tesla, this might be a very, very, very good opportunity to do so, especially when it dips down and there's so much fear, so much uncertainty, so much doubt, people panic selling out of their position. For those of you who pounced today, congratulations. I'm very, very happy for you. Now, if we look at the technical analysis for Tesla, TSLA, we could see that overall pretty still bullish short term, 
Uh, there is some support at the $700 mark, which you know didn't, it pretty much got a little under there and it bounced off of it. But we have resistance points moving forward at 725, 770, 793. And we know, you know, Tesla peaked very, very high, almost at $900 earlier this year. Looking at this relative strength index, anything under 30, oversold, anything over 70, overbought. So right now, Tesla is right in the middle. It's in the sweet spot. So potential, potential entry into this play between now and, you know, if it goes down to $700 or $699, very, very solid entry points for Tesla. Now, before I continue, make sure you get your free stocks, folks, with Webull. So if you lose, you use my link below. You get one free stock for just opening a brokerage between $2.50 and $250. That is the valuation of the stock that you will receive. If you deposit $100 to your Webull account, you get another free stock between $8 and $1,600. So don't don't sleep on these plays, folks. Really take advantage of the fact that Webull is offering this now. Get your free stocks. You can get something you know up to $1,600. Get your free money. Why not? And if you don't like Webull, which I really I highly doubt you won't, because I truly love this brokerage, you will end up you know hopefully you know adopting the brokerage's potential for a side portfolio that kind of thing but look into it for sure so let's go back tesla price forecast price targets so right now we know on the very high twelve hundred dollars on average about a seven hundred dollar price target pretty much where it is now for the next 12 months and on the very low 135 dollars so we could see the spectrum is everywhere some of the goldman sachs analysts 835 dollars you know pretty reputable guys out here from wedbush um, you can see a lot of these five-star five star analysts from Morgan Stanley, $880 price target from New Street, um, $900 price target. So go ahead and you know do your own research. But for me, it's almost a no-brainer to have Tesla as part of your portfolio as, as, as honestly a less speculative play. It was very speculative back in the day, but now after the mass adoption that is occurring with EVs and all things alternative energy, Tesla is not just an EV company. It is an energy behemoth. So that's what you're investing in when you enter into this play. So guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to just quickly mention to everybody and look at it. The big things that were, you know, that Elon Musk, uh, Elon Musk mentioned, Tesla CEO Elon Musk on Monday denied that this company's uh, that his company's automated driving system were involved in fatal crash which was in Spring, Texas this past weekend. Two federal agencies, the NHTSA and the T, uh, NTSB, are investigating the crash now, along with local police, and none have completed their comprehensive investigations and their preliminary findings are not conclusive. So that's all I have for you guys today. Please always, before selling out of a position and some negative news comes out for any company, especially one that you believe in and you've invested in you know, very long ago. I know people who've been invested you know, since 2018, for example, you're up. 10x on your on your position in something like Tesla. But regardless, before selling out on our positions, always, 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 I cannot reiterate this enough. Of course, it's not financial advice, nor am I a financial advisor. Rather, I just try to put you guys on the place that I'm in. But always do your research before you sell out of your positions. Because again, it could just be something that is misleading. The media does a very good job of misleading individuals. Unfortunately, that's what the day and life we live in currently. But nevertheless, you know, if you do or are interested in potentially getting back into Tesla after realizing that it was just FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, maybe it is time to do so. So go ahead, please, please, please look into Tesla. It is one of my personal favorite companies. It holds a very strong place in my portfolio. I'd say 20%, maybe upwards of 20%. But regardless, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and join the family. We are growing very, very rapidly, almost at 22,000 subscribers. So until next time, everybody, keep investing.